clear so all those that we pay become our expense that is not a part of liability because we already satisfy our obligation so these are obligations that you need to pay that's why we call this pay able pay very close attention here pay able similarly long term debt you have a loan for more than one year so we call this long term debt so you take a loan from the bank 1 million dollar you will pay in 5 years and what is current portion of long term debt every year how you are going to retire this loan how you are going to pay back this loan 100000 every year so on year 1 on year 1 it will become current portion of long term debt if you pay 100000 the rest of the for 200000 if you pay 200000 the rest of the long term debt will will become 800000 and current portion will become 200000 and this would be pay in less than a year and this would be paid according to their maturity or according to the time horizon that you have taken the loan any question david priscilo venicia mimi oh good oh okay. sir oliver no, it's okay thanks no sir no sir no sir no sir cd mirko mirko marco No, okay. Rob yes, Pablo, Miria. Yes. Subhan. Okay, let's move forward. So, if assets is equal to liabilities plus owner's equity, so can we rearrange this equation? Yes, of course. If we want to find out owner's equity. it's simple take this liability to here assets minus liabilities is equal to one as equity so you can just play with this game play with this equation and you can find out the rest of if you know any of two variable here you can find the third one right now owner's equity owner's equity is equal to aid in capital plus retained earnings up till now what we have discussed accounting equation assets is equal to liabilities plus owner's equity assets is equal to liabilities plus owner's equity but now we are discussing another formula which is owner's equity is equal to paid in capital plus retained earnings so what do we mean by paid in capital paid in capital means common stock that you issue that a company issues the stocks and people bought that or shareholder bought that stock how much but for for example 1 million dollar uh yeah 1 million dollar so this is the amount that the owners or stockholders invested in the company we call this paid in capital what do we mean by retained earnings so pay very close attention to the word retained and earnings so all the earnings that you kept for use and do not distribute it to the stockholders so you make a uh, you you earn 1 million dollar profit but you share only Six hundred thousand to the shareholders. The rest of the four hundred thousand, which also belongs to stockholders, that you did not distribute, you retained in the business. So we call this retained earnings. And the reason can be many for business expansion, rather going to the bank. and ask loan and loan is not free right it ha it has a cost so either uh, going to the bank and pay interest 
and interest is going to be less from the profit and profit is going to be then decreased, right? So why not we use our profits to expand the business? And then maybe new uh, plant is going to be renewed. Old plant is now expired. We need to, you know, uh, buy a new plant or replace that plant or we need to buy cards or whatsoever. Rather going to the bank, bank has an interest. So why not we just do not share our 100% profit to the owners which kept some of the profit inside uh, the organization but that belongs to shareholders not the outsiders because this is the profit profit belongs to owners so are we clear about the word retain earning yes I don't know why Chumo is making trouble. Very strange. Can you see the PPDs? No, I see your face. No. Okay, let me restart this Microsoft Office. Okay. Here we go. So retain earnings. And retain earnings is equal to, so this is the third formula. The retain earnings, how we calculate that? Because it's not the one time. Every year, some of the profit companies are keeping with themselves and rest of the things they are distributing to the owners. So how much is the total earnings that are retained in the business at the end of the year, at the end of the year. So simple sales or revenue and how we define the revenue. It is inflow because money is coming to the business. You are selling goods, receiving the money. That's why we call this inflow. Inflow of cash or money or resources right plus sorry minus expenses expenses are outflows minus dividends that you distributed to the shareholders and that is equal to the at the end of the um, accounting period so similarly so the third formula is retain earning at the end is equal to or this okay that is the fourth, fourth formula the, the third formula is how we find out current how much from current profit we retained the earnings how we can find out the profit simple revenue minus expense how much expense is retained is equal to how much you minus how much you distributed which is dividend so essentially this is 
profit minus dividend. The company earned a profit. How much it distributed? You net it. The rest of the profit is retained for the current period. So retained earnings, of course, you can see that. If you sell more, retained earnings is increased. So look at here the formula. The formula here, if you increase the revenue, retain is increased. If you increase the expenses, retain earning decreases. If you decrease the expenses, Retain earning increases, right? If you increase the dividend, what happens? Because this is a minus sign here. If you increase the dividend, you distribute more than retain earning is decreased. If you distribute it less, if you decrease the dividend, Retain earning will be increased, right? Now, the fourth formula, which is, we just talk about the three formula. Number one formula is, let me just write it down for you. So we discuss accounting equation, which is asset is equal to liabilities plus honors equity. You can rearrange this equation and you can find out the rest of the stuff. If you want to find out liability, you can also, if you have honors equity value asset, you can also find out the liability. So you can rearrange the equation. These are equations. Second one, honors equity is equal to Trade in capital plus retained earnings. Right? Let's begin it at the moment. Just yeah. retained earnings. So, how we can find out retained earnings? The run period, it is profit. Minus dividend. And profit is equal to revenue minus all expenses. Right? Fourth formula is so this is just one year retained earning. That's this year how much we have retained. So simple retained earning at the end of the year is equal to. Beginning retain earning plus this year retain earning. Current retain earning we already calculated from here. This formula here. So beginning means how much previous uh, previous year? How much is the total amount of? Retain earning. So in previous year, you, the previous years, you accumulated $1 million of retain earning. And this year, you retain only 100,000. So your total retain earning at the end would be 1.1 million. Right? 